you guys. We're going back to our route. Yes. Started from the, bo from the bottom. Not really the bottom. Not really the bottom. Let's see some updates on the courtyard by Marriott. On Chocolate Avenue. our channel if you've watched before and if you haven't i'm jay and i'm sam and together we're the theme park foodies you're also a theme park foodie generally we do eat food on this channel we show you where some good food spots are but today we're actually doing an updated hotel tour of the courtyard by marriott on chocolate avenue sam here we filmed our first ever vlog yeah so if you go back if you go to our videos and you click oldest video this is the first video we ever posted the first uh, and that was in july so that was right when things were opening back up. Yes. With COVID, so we were checking out the precautions. Yeah. And not everything was open then. So we're gonna see. Yeah, and a lot of places things have changed. Yeah, a lot of places were trying things out too. So we'll show you the updated measures that they put in place. Uh, we'll show you the options they have here. They didn't have any food open. I think uh, was a Starbucks even open last no, night. No. I don't get anything open here. So they have a Starbucks open now. They have the bistro. So we'll go over everything that they got. Um, a lot of things. We already did do in the last vlog. We will just tell you, hey, check out that vlog. And we'll put the link down in the description. So yeah, let's go inside. First of all, since we're on Chocolate Avenue, how cool is it that you could see Hershey Kiss lampposts that notify that you're in Hershey or downtown Hershey right next to the courtyard by Maria. So I don't think that's something we really, we may have highlighted in the beginning of the video last time, but uh, we've definitely uh, are a lot more polished now. We've been vlogging for a little bit. I can't wait to go inside and show you guys everything. Sam, ready to go inside? Yes, and masks are still required. Yes, these, these signs have definitely been updated. Uh, they're a lot more sturdy. I think they were like paper last time. Yeah, a lot more sturdy. Well, last time I feel like no one knew how long this was going to be going on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we expected to be still going through this yeah. in uh, the spring. All right, let's go in. All right, we're going in. Nice artwork here. And they have a sign running the door just to maintain six feet of distance. And again, hand sanitizer station right to the right hand side. And they have these social distancing markers right as you walk in again as well. I think they, these have been updated too. I'm not sure. Let's check out the last slide to see if they are. And like I said, the bistro. Ah. Yes. Uh, right next to that TV we just showed you is this lounge area, which I think, has this been updated at all, Sam, or is this about the same? Yeah, it looks about the same. And they have a work area right there in the back. This is a workstation if you have to get work done, and they have these cool lights and nice artwork right on the walls. I think, I think these look a little bit more private. Well, they probably might be just the same exact thing. No, I think they really good. Yeah, well, they got nice TVs and USB ports next to them. This is a great place if you're going to go and work. All right, we're going to go out and show you guys the fire pit now. Which again, you can see from our room. It'll be much better than when it was July and 100 degrees. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it makes now more sense. Cold. Yes, hopefully it's on. All right, and here we go. Ooh, ooh, the wind. It's a lot of outdoor seating out here. You can see a nice golf course in the back. Oh, last time I don't think we realized that was a golf course. We may have. And this is, this is where we did our last outro. Yeah, this would be something to definitely turn on right now courtyard by marriott i'm not sure if you just press that and it turns it on i'm not going to test Final it language don't leave children unattended yeah oh man turn this bad boy on courtyard it was oh, on right. when it was 100 degrees out last yeah. time <laughs> uh, you can actually see our room from over here it's right up here so the bistro has breakfast and dinner so i guess that's when the attendant would be here for the starbucks yeah and that's between 5 and 10 for dinner and between 6 30 8.30 for breakfast. And they have a lot of cool looking stuff here. Onion rings, wings. I guess onion rings aren't that cool looking. Beer battered fish and chips sound interesting though. Coconut shrimp, black yeah. bread, the little tops. You could see all the grab and go stuff Fruit, right here. Cereal. And they have the numbers. So I'm assuming you either put the number on the table or bring it right to you. 
Maybe we'll try to check out how that works in the morning. Maybe we can split something or get some coffee in the morning. Sam, do you smell chocolate? I do. For some reason, we didn't experience this last time. It smells like they have like a smellinator or something for chocolate in the lobby in Unless here. Unless we're just like freaking crazy. No, it definitely it, smells like chocolate. It has like the same smell as the lodge. Yeah, it does. Who needs the lodge? <laughs> The Lodge has a lot no, of good no, amenities. The Lodge is nice. Yeah, no, definitely more amenities in here. But yeah, I just feel like this is like way more modern. More modern. The rooms are way nicer. Yeah. More USB ports. Uh, similar amount of space. Our shower, we'll show you when we do the room oh, tour, well, is way nicer. By the way, in our last vlog, we stayed in a queen, a double queen. This is a full king, and the room is very impressive. So we'll go up and show you. So the elevators are to the right as you walk in. And... Right past the elevators is the fitness center and the pool. I showed this in the last vlog. There's also the laundry in there as well. So check out that video if you want to see the full information on this. Sammy is the correct. Yes, yeah, so when you walk in, the elevators are to the left. To the left, not to the right. I was staring at the elevators, so I was all confused. You know what? I don't know my right and left. I'm sorry. I, just, I gotta admit it sometimes. <laughs> are we smelling? <laughs> yeah. I'm really wondering, are you crazy? I like this one. Alright, we're in the elevator and the elevator definitely seems very nice. And it introduces the bistro to you. It makes noises every time you go up the floor. And it's selling you on these crispy Brussels sprouts for dinner. We do have a great dinner plan at Devon's Seafood and Steak, so I think that's where we're going to be eating tonight. It's great, one of the best places in Dis uh, Disney Hershey. Alright, let's see how it is. As you walk out to the elevator, they have a little lounge chair here. Phone in case you need to call anyone. And a mirror in case you need to be vain and just look at yourself. Or fix you up as you go out. That's probably what it's actually meant for. <laughs> so if you guys watched our last vlog, this room was the room we vlogged. It's open right now. Which is weird. It's like the only one in the Yeah, no one is really in it. Go. We're not going to go in, but you can go inside this room and see the full tour of it. <laughs> Check out our first ever vlog. All right, we've made it to our room, 407. So this is the room, the king room, we'll be showing you guys today. Excited to take you guys inside. All right, 407, let's go inside. All right, so the first thing you really notice in here is the bathroom's obviously to the right, but also what I really like is this mirror not just because I'm vain and like looking at myself, uh, but because I make a lot of vanity jokes. But um, I like that it's a door that's also a closet. And because it's not like a physical closet, it's in the wall, it condenses space. And you can find your iron and ironing board in here. Is that an extra pillow back there? I don't know what that is. And then uh, some stuff, I guess, to hang clothes on, some nice hangers. And also, uh, do they have a laundry service here, Sam? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I don't know what that's for then. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Also, there's a mirror when you open the door. So you have a mirror on each side, so. You can look Hello. at yourself, and I can look at myself on the other at side. At the same time, if it's needed. All right, let's take a look at this bathroom, because I think that's something that Sam and I This is very definitely different by. than the bathroom in the Queen. Yes. I think it's it's bigger. It's bigger. The sh we had a tub in the... I think we paid about the same yeah, for each no, room too, each time. We got a great deal on this yeah, hotel. Yeah, again, it was like 123 with tax. Yeah. And this is kind of peak season because Hershey Park is opening tomorrow. Well, we last stayed here, they said it was around four or 500 a night usually, but yeah, definitely hasn't been like that since COVID, that's for sure. Yeah, look at this, is this the sink is a lot of space. Yeah. Paul Mitchell. Awesome. Refreshing citrus. I don't know who Paul Mitchell is, but his That's name a, sounds It's impressive. a good brand. Oh, okay. Um, they don't hide this from you, like some other places. The blow dryer is right here. Uh, then you have your tissues, obviously. Your towels. They ask you to hang and reuse them for the environment. Big mirror, of course, with some great lighting. Uh, ventilation. I also right like how room. that shelf is. Yeah, the space. That's something that's really impressing me is like they, they take it. They're advantage. using the space well. Exactly, exactly. They're maximizing. And this shower is a walk-in. So there's no actual door. And what's really cool about it, you see this handle? You see, you ever move the handle and the cold water comes out and you're like, oh, and you keep moving it? Not at not at the courtyard by Marion Chocolate <laughs> Avenue because you move this handle 
and the water comes out right over there. there. You do see some actual water damage above it. That doesn't bother me, as long as there's no mold or anything, which I definitely don't see. Um, yeah, so you can turn it to the exact temperature that you like, and then walk right in. And it, you have so much space here. I'm assuming this is for, uh, well, this is probably if you're handicapped, and this is to keep your soaps if you have them. But they do obviously have soaps and body washes and conditioners right here that are connected into the wall. So, yeah, cool. Also, we have a nice brand of toilet paper, Angel Soft, you know? Yeah, not, not cheap not toilet that, paper. Like, you know, public school. Yeah, we paid 120 paper. for this room, you know? Like, we could take that toilet paper home. No, you know? we're not. We're not taking <laughs> toilet paper home. Jeez. All right, car carpet's very nice. And this is the room. The TV is not positioned in the most yeah. efficient way to be viewed from the bed, I would say. Um, but other than that, I, I think the room is really nice. Oh. It, Let me it does swivel a tiny bit. What's really cool about these TVs, which the, the Hershey Lodge was charging 400 a night for this night. Just so you guys realize, this hotel was 120 with tax, and we have internet television. You don't get it, I mean, given, I guess you don't get the like Milton Hershey channel. we came here to watch yeah. television, <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. you know, at night, it's nice to have it's, it. It's a good amenity to have, and, lots, you know, they gotta, of, they gotta fit those rooms in Hershey. Space. Again, many USBs. Oh, yes, so let's start with the USB count. There's two right here in this workspace right next to the TV, and two standard plugs as well. Um, they have sanitized this remote control so you know we'll keep the count right next to the tv you have this drawer space right here you can keep shorts or anything we're only staying for a night so i don't think we're actually going to use that uh, then you have your recycling and your trash then this desk chair which sam i i gotta show you why i like this desk chair so much <laughs> this is i guess if you're working the usbs are right there which is great too but like not, this is better than my, my what work chair are you, work. What work are you getting done, though, when you're, like, leaning back? I can like, take a nap in this. Well, I don't have any head support. If I had the head support, I could take a nap in this chair. It's very nice. Well, maybe you can sleep in it. <laughs> so right past the TV is the wall mount for your AC and heat. Right now it's on a little cool. It is a little cool outside, though. Um, but what we like about this, we said this in the last vlog, too, is it's not a wall mount. It's actually in... Oh, actually, let me get closer so I can show you guys. This is your AC unit right here. So it's filtering all the air that's in here. Oh, there's some lights over here too, I didn't realize. How do, I, how do we turn those on? Sand turned them on. It's right next, it's over here. I thought we already had that on. Oh, that's cool. All right, so back to the AC. If I turn this on, that turns that light here and I can show you the coffee maker, which is, is this a current or is this no. standard? No, is that like oh, no, it's a standard coffee <laughs> maker. Uh, no USBs here, but standard plugs if you need them. And microwave. Microwave. Hershey Lodge didn't have a microwave, right? No, it did. It was in the. You had to open up the, the uh, oh, I doors. Oh, I remember the fridge. And then you got your fridge, and they have some space in here so you can hang coats and stuff too. Tell me how you're gonna fit a coat in there. <laughs> look at look at the size of the space. All right. I don't know. What... Maybe you can't fit a coat, but I... May, I don't know a small. And I don't I know. Feel like that's where the, like an ironing board would go. Oh, uh, well, the ironing board is the other thing. Yeah, but there's why are there hangers in there? Where is there a hanger? Right here. Yeah, but that, it's I don't know. It's for something. Hang something in there. I don't Umbrella. know. Umbrella. <laughs> All right, and then right next to here is our beautiful view of the dumpster. <laughs> Joking. Uh, we actually can see there's a golf course behind there, yeah. and we have a great view of the fire pit. That's down there. I wish it was on right now. Yeah, it is a little cold out. It'd be a good night for a fire pit. I don't know what type of couch this is. It's, it's like a nice. love 1970s couch. Yeah, and they have this little thing here if you want to eat. Sam, just sprawl out on it and enjoy yourself. Oh, thanks. Oh, my phone is in my pocket. <laughs> it's nice. You could just take a nap right there, right? And there's a light right behind it. This is a good spot for watching TV and stuff. Maybe this is where what the TV's really oh. positioned for. Beds for sleeping. Right next to Sam sprawling out on the couch. You have more plugs. And then let's show you the bed. All right, so this is the king bed, very spacious. I remember them being very comfortable last time. We'll give you an update on that. 
And here we go. So two more plugs, four, count them, four USB ports, two in the clocks, and two right here. Mirror right here with a reading light that you could turn on or off here. I don't wonder what this one does. Oh, that turns on. The lights that are right above the bed, so that's nice. And then on the other side of the bed, you have your phone, two more USB ports, two more plugs. So how many USB ports is that, Sam? Eight. Eight USB ports in this whole room. I'm still on the couch. <laughs> it's really comfortable. How modern is this room? All the USB ports. Modern, clean, comfortable, efficient. Great lighting, too. Yeah. So I definitely, I think I like this room more than last time. And this is a way better actual room than what I think any of the actual Hershey hotels have to offer right now. Yeah. Uh, however... I have to be negative. Like, I hate coming off negative, but I like to be honest. Yeah, no. And the thing about the, the Hotel Hershey rooms is they need to be refurbished, but you do get more... Oh, this is a good angle <laughs> you do get more amenities staying at Hershey. You know, the early park entry, the free parking. We have the free parking because we're season pass holders. Um, and then you get like, they have multiple pool areas. This is only one small pool here, hot tubs, things like that. So, you know, you're probably not spending so much time in your room at the Hershey resorts, but the rooms here are beautiful. And if you can get it for the price that we got it for, $129 with tax, it's really, you can't beat it. There's definitely a story behind this sign. Something I didn't bring up on the tour before uh, these are actually childproof. There's like a little plastic in there, so kids can't stick their fingers or sharp objects. Well, that's definitely nice to know. So, I realize we never got anything from the Starbucks here before. Uh, we're not going to have breakfast because we're going to Hershey Park today, and it's actually the opening of the Milton's Ice Cream Parlor and Confectionery. So we're going to eat most of our food there, uh, but I am going to grab a cup of uh, black coffee from the Starbucks, and hopefully it's just as good as normal Starbucks coffee. Maybe better? Probably not. I just want to uh, show you guys the market. It is right to the left as you walk in. So you can get some quick serve options in here. It's nice. And I believe open 24 hours. Alright, uh, I got my coffee. And um, I'm going to head back to the room and have it in there. And get ready to go to Fresh Park. Um, this is the coffee. It's definitely hot. <laughs> I don't know if that tastes like Starbucks coffee to me. You're saying it's imposter coffee? But what blend was it? Do you know? I just said black. It's, no, it tastes like an Americano. It could just be a blend that you're not used to. Yeah. No, it tastes like Americano. It's not a full service Starbucks. It's just you know you can't go and get like yes. the cold brews and the all the new you know fancy yeah drinks. it's, it's like gonna, a quick it's serve it's gonna have the basics yes it's run by the hotel it's not run by starbucks they, she, girl girl knows her starbucks my hair and giving out anything. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah that was good coffee i would recommend going down and getting a coffee from the Starbucks in here. Um, I, there was a pretty decent line though and they only have one person working there in the morning. So when this hotel is packed, uh, do expect to wait a little bit. I waited about 10 minutes. It was no fault of the person working there. It's just maybe a bit understaffed and considering they're only open for about five hours at completely full serve service and they only get a certain rush between the morning and dinner hours, it did make sense uh, for the way that they staffed it. But if you go down around 8.30, I expect a small line and a small weight. Uh, people look like they enjoyed the food. We're not eating, like I said before, heading to Hershey Park later. So we'll give you our full review about our time here uh, as we check out. Right here to the right as you walk in, I do have like a little outdoor seating area with that looks nice. All right, so that does it for our stay at the Courtyard by Marriott on Chocolate Avenue. Sam, how was it? Oh, it was very nice to come back. Yeah. Um, I still love it. I liked the king room better than the yeah, queen room. Yeah, me too. And I think that our the room stay was better here than at the lodge. The yes. bed and the shower are more comfortable than the Hershey Lodge. The lodge is definitely more of a resort, so it has more amenities. And uh, if you're going to Hershey Park, you get a few more little uh, extra add-ons. However, um, if you're going to stay off-site, I mean, this is only five minutes down the road from Hershey Park. And the rooms are very nice. Yeah. The bed was very comfortable, great pillows. 
um, walk-in shower, TV. internet television. I, yeah, I do lot feel more like that they are a little bit understaffed, but that's you know I understand. That's how I feel like every on. place is, yeah. and it didn't really affect our stay too much. So. Yeah. All right. Well. Um, Still recommend it. <laughs> yes, great time here. Definitely check out uh, Courtyard by Marriott on, on uh, Chocolate Avenue if you're looking to stay by a spot near Hershey. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Subscribing will let you know next time that we drop videos. And if you want to see what the queen rooms look like, that's our first vlog ever. So just go to oldest videos or I'll probably put the description, I'll put it in the description. Uh, so, yeah, my name's Jay. And I'm Sam. Theme Park Foodies. <laughs> are out. Don't count the days. Don't make the days count. We'll see you next time. That's all, folks. Look at those beautiful birds. Yeah, beautiful birds around here. No, it's like orange.